and you having dinner? You followed me in the house. Thank you for cleaning up your mess. <laughs> Hello. All right, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and today we are going to be working with a split cup that has a center chamber and then a regular chamber here. I haven't used this yet. Uh, the wonderful Tracy Reed, and I will link her below in the video description box as well as up on the left right there. You can check out her cloud pours that she um, makes using this cup here. I know that this is the smaller size. I do know that she's come out with something new that's a little bit larger, which is great. My paints are not the consistency for a cloud pour, but I wanted to give it a try either way with the thicker paints that I already have mixed up. I'm gonna be um, working with uh, previous paints that are in need of using up before they go bad. So we are going to fill this chamber right here um, with my white and it's Floetrol and Artist Law Flow Acrylic from 2020. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference. Um, I'm sure it is. It's not the same recipe as it used to be prior to 2020, which is sad. Um, but with that, I also added some satin enamel. And uh, so these are the leftover paints and various colors that I have throughout um, my studio. And we're just gonna play around and play with this, see what else we can create other than her cloud pours, which I am going to do, um, hopefully, uh, in the long, in, in the future. <laughs> so this is a 16 by 16 inch canvas and I am going to just add the white in this chamber. It doesn't, I think, I don't think it holds a whole lot, but we're going to fill it either way. And I will come over here. All right, so that's all we're gonna do for the white. Let's see, what colors shall we do? All right, we're gonna use some of my Prussian blue mix. I'm going to give a dollop of my gold that I use. I'm gonna come in with some Aqua Flash by Color Shift. And then again with the Prussian blue. So I am layering, it's not a dirty pour. And then some of this sky blue topaz. It's almost like I don't need any white in here, which um, I'm pretty certain is the truth. Okay, I actually have some cobalt blue also left over from a previous pour. I love using leftover paints. They do everything you wanted them to do in the first pour. <laughs> um, let's see here. We'll do some metallic sapphire. Some Blick acrylic fluorescent violet because that's a fun color. I'm going to come in with the Prussian blue again and the gold, the aqua flash. I have a little left of that. Let me see here. How about cobalt blue? And then we're gonna come in with the Prussian. And we're gonna do a little bit of the pink on top. Okay, so this is my cup. And I'm going to put down, I think, a base of the Prussian blue. Donna Moore had commented under my last video or a couple of videos ago that um, she would like me to 
out of curiosity, see what a uh, black base or dark base would be. I think it was black for a straight pour. And I was all up for that. But then I realized I didn't have any black mixed up and I didn't want to mix up too much paints um, for fear I would waste some. So we're just going to go with the Prussian blue. I think that's it. We'll fill in the corners as we go. I just don't know why this is so much higher on one side, but it is. So I'm going to actually come in and just balance that there. I'm gonna add a couple cups. I'm not sure why all of a sudden it's so uneven. I may have something underneath here and I still haven't checked to see if I do that was a problem in a previous video. We'll give this a torch. I did add a little bit of a metallic paint to that Prussian blue, so if you see some swirls or whatnot, then you know. All right. So we are... just keeps on coming, which is great. So I started with a straight pour and I'm finishing with a ring pour to keep my center. Oh, and I just stuck my finger in it. <laughs> okay. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I have this here. I'm gonna leave it just like that. This is gorgeous, I love this in here. I'm actually going to torch it. I see some air bubbles. Just kind of move it around the canvas. I'm loving all of this. So what I think I'm going to do is move my car keys. I'm gonna lift this up and collect the cups. And I have a spinner here. 
I think what I'm gonna do is spin it out. And I wanna break up some of the white in there. I'm gonna come in and wreck a little bit of it. Okay, so end result, I think it's fun, wonderful colors. It's gonna be super flashy with the uh, aqua flash in here when it's dry. But um, yeah, no complaint. I'm definitely gonna give a go to an actual cloud pour using that cup because I've seen her create some stunning pieces. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, what else? I don't know. I think that's about it. So I'm gonna bring you guys in to see the close-ups. All right, guys, here it is. Super happy. I love this area right here. It looks like flower petals. Um, I could not be happier with this piece. Love the colors, the uh, cobalt blue and aqua flash is such a beautiful combination of colors. I love this area. So what I'm gonna do is uh, in a couple of days, you are gonna also see a pour that I've done that is the Leaky Cup. I have had Massey Art Studios Leaky Cup in my possession. I moved to the new studio. I lost track of it. I have found it again, so um, that is my next pour coming up. And um, yeah, so that is it. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. You are amazing. Stay tuned for the dried results.